So now moving on to our assessment, our objective physical exam, and kind of putting it all together for the cardiac areas. Okay. So first we're gonna start out just looking at the neck. And so you have a lot of vascularity in your neck. You have your jugular vein and also your carotid artery located in very close proximity. So first, as always, we inspect. So you're just gonna be looking at the neck and looking to see if you see either a carotid artery pulsation or any jugular vein distension. If they had jugular vein distension, we'd be worried about maybe increased uh, pressure that's coming off that right side of the heart. So maybe some concern for like right-sided heart failure or whatnot if they had jugular vein distension. Mm -hmm. So, but we would wanna palpate our carotid artery. And the carotid artery is special because this is the only one that we don't palpate bilaterally because right. something bad could happen. If you shut off both arteries, you're gonna decrease oxygen to the brain. Absolutely, so your patient could pass out or, or worse. So you would wanna be palpating and feeling for that carotid one at a time, and it should be that two plus regular rate and rhythm bilaterally. And if we had reason to believe that maybe our patient had some type of cardiac issue, we could also listen for a brewy over that carotid artery. Okay. And as we talked about before, so a brewy is that, whoosh, whoosh, that soft sound of turbulent blood flow. And so since it's softer and it's an abnormal sound, we'd use the bell. So I always think the bees. For a brewy, you listen with the bell of your stethoscope, which we place softly on the skin. So to listen for this, we'd be putting it over the carotid on the patient's neck, but we'd have them hold their breath. Because otherwise, that sound of that tracheal, those, the air moving through the trachea would overpower the brewery. Oh, and you can't hear it. Yes, so, okay. but normal would be for no brewery to be noted. And so then from there, we would move down to that precordium. So precordium is just a fancy way of saying the chest wall area, but mainly just looking at the heart in the cardiac areas. Okay. And so we're looking to make sure there's no heaves or lifts. So a heave or a lift is basically if there was a lifting every time the heart beat, causing the chest wall to move. So it's kind of a fancy way of saying that the chest wall is symmetric by saying there's no heaves or lifts. Okay. So looking at this patient's chest wall, I don't see any heaves or lifts. Everything appears to be symmetric. All right. Hey there, nursing student. Listen up. Did you know only 20% of our videos are here on YouTube? You're missing out on over 900 videos not on YouTube, plus 500 visual study guides that follow along every video, and a massive quiz bank to test your knowledge. All neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free.